That was close. <laughs> that was one of those almost really bad moments <laughs> for me where he almost nailed me twice. Oh my God. and almost got out the car window. And thank goodness that Stacy got a hold of that leash because she did not expect him to jump out the window like that and go after and pursue me like that. And I know from being with this dog, if he would have got out the window and taken off at me and I had no equipment on, I just had things going through my mind right there at that moment like, oh no, <laughs> if he gets out that car window right now with me having nothing on, I'm going to the hospital. Like this is going to be a bad, bad moment for me. And I just kept seeing in that moment when he got out the window that please hold on to that leash, please, <laughs> right? So, you know. I talk about this a lot and I do a lot of protection for a living. It's one of my specialties. And you know, dogs that are sleeved on, sport oriented, you're safe, right? If you're doing training and a dog gets off a leash, you're safe. He's not going to bite you without the sleeve on and the equipment generally. Most dogs are not going to do that when they're in sport. Shuts in, you know, the IPOs, ring sport, dog. So, you know, this guy, because I've, I just, I've been building him, he is not playing. And this is why I also tell people too, be careful because when you're dealing with real protection dogs, this can be a dangerous game. And that was one of those moments. <laughs> Where I was thinking bad things and that this was going to be a bad moment. <laughs> so thank God Stacy held on to the leash. But this is where, you know, when you see a dog try to launch out of a car and you see that aggression and, and hear in his voice, you know, that anger and that he wants to really put a beat down on me. Boy. And telling you he would have got out that car because he his intention to get out that car was he was coming for me. So, you know, we always talk about that added anger to protection work, right? That sport dogs don't have. And building that aggression into these guys because 
he didn't have it either until I started working with him. And now you can see all of that. So, you know, on my other videos, I show dogs like these when you can see and hear that intensity and that real aggression. Keep going, don't face it. I mean, these dogs are not playing. This is real protection work, real aggression. Be careful when you're doing things and you're able to pull dogs for real. Be careful when you've pulled them, right? That you're always safe because if things happen or go wrong, it can be really wrong and really bad. <laughs> so, and I'm going to give updates on this dog as we go. So maybe tomorrow. We're going to work with him again, and I'll have some update on him, but over the next few weeks, I'll put updates on him. So, yeah, just wanted to share my almost disaster. <laughs> so, till next time, Richard Hines, Miami Dog Whisperer. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, my God! 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 O